Okay, this sermon is entitled, The Unsaved, Hank Hanegraaff. Like to open up with prayer, and then with a few verses. Dear God, thank you for giving us your clear word. Thank you for allowing us to see what it says. Bless the listeners. I ask all this in Jesus' name, amen. Psalm 32 reads, Blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Blessed is the man unto whom the Lord imputeth not iniquity, and in whose spirit there is no guile. When I kept silence, my bones waxed old, through my roaring all the day long. Now, Hank Hanegraaff is also known as the Bible Answer Man, and according to the internet, he is an American Christian author and radio talk show host, a former evangelical Protestant who has joined the Eastern Orthodox Church in 2017, and after listening to this stupid video of him responding to callers, I have found that he's nothing but an unsaved fraud who is spiritually blind to what the Bible teaches and who can interpret James chapter 2. So let's take a listen to him. Here goes. Indeed, faith and works must never be viewed in opposition one to the other. Now, this is entirely incorrect. According to the Bible, especially in the book of Romans, faith and works are in complete opposition when it comes to salvation. So let's keep listening. Here goes. The Apostle James taught that we are saved by the kind of faith that produces good works. Well, actually, the Apostle Paul taught that we are saved by the kind of faith that doesn't have any works whatsoever. Romans 4, 5 reads, But to him that worketh not, but believeth on him that justifieth the ungodly, his faith is counted for righteousness. So let's keep listening. Here goes. What good is it? My brother said, St. James, if a man claims to have faith but has no deeds, can such faith save him? The answer is quite obviously, no. First of all, James is not talking about salvation. He's not addressing unsaved people who need the gospel. He's talking to what he addresses as brethren. Let's go ahead and turn there and look at a couple verses. It reads in chapter 1 and verse 2, my brethren, count it all joy when ye fall into divers temptations. Take a look at chapter 2 and verse 1. My brethren, have not the faith of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord of glory, with respect of persons. So we see twice that he's calling these people brethren, and that means they're already saved. But according to the unsaved Hank Hanegraaff, if you don't have works, you're not saved. And the simple fact that he misinterprets James 2 proves he's unsaved because according to him you have to have works or you didn't even have faith and that's not the point James was making at all. James is simply telling people that works demonstrate your faith to spectators. It has nothing to do with salvation whatsoever. So let's take a listen to one more quote by the unsaved Hank Hanegraaff. Here goes. Salvation is not merely punctiliar. It's a process. So, according to him, he thinks salvation is a process, which is completely befitting with his understanding of faith plus works. If you had to have the works, then salvation would be a process. But salvation is not a process. Salvation took place when Jesus Christ died on the cross, was buried, and rose again, and it's instantaneous. And the Bible makes that clear in John chapter 5, in verse 24. It reads, Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that heareth my word and believeth on him that sent me hath everlasting life and shall not come into condemnation, but is passed from death unto life. If salvation were a process, then these three truths, number one, not coming into condemnation, number two, having everlasting life, and number three, being passed from death unto life, would not even be spoken of here. So, Hank Hanegraaff is nothing but an unsaved devil who has no business teaching anybody anything regarding the Bible. And the thing that's so stupid about this faith plus works nonsense in James 2, when it's misinterpreted, is that every single person alive can do works and automatically does works. And faith has nothing to do with it. When a person's pumping air into a tire, or bench pressing 350 pounds, or digging a ditch, or taking out the trash, or delivering a pizza, how is faith necessary in any of that? It's not. And the only reason people teach that you have to have works to prove you have faith is to keep you from believing on Christ alone and to pervert the gospel and because it's a satanic lie. So watch out for these frauds. Watch out for these works-trusting fools. Hank Hanegraaff is no exception 
He's just an unsaved devil, like every other Catholic and Eastern Orthodox and grace-hating, reprobate, works-trusting goat on the planet. That's all I have. Let me go ahead and close in prayer. Dear God, thank you for giving us your clear word. Thank you for allowing us to see what it says. Bless the listeners. I ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen.